Welcome back. I'm Thomas Michaud from StarlandGuitar.com. In this lesson, this mini guitar lesson, Guitar Chords for Beginners number four, we're gonna, we just done three chord change with a D, A7, and G. Now we're gonna add another chord. This is the E chord. Take a look at that. That's the first finger on the third string, first fret. I'm stretching my second finger over to the fifth string, second fret. And then the third finger is on the fourth string, second fret, E. E major would be another name for that. Go ahead and take your fingers off, shake it out, and place them back on. Start with the first finger, second finger, fifth string, and then the fourth string, third finger. Make sure all the strings are sounding. This goes for all the chords. In this case, every string should sound. If you hear this, that means your finger's not quite in the right place. You want to get it close to the fret, one of these little metal bars, but not on top of it. If it's on top, it's, it'll fret out, we call it. Now it's ringing. Too far, it'll start buzzing. Okay? Shake it out. Play me the E chord again. Shake it out. Again. I'm shaking it out to keep you relaxed. If you get too tight, you want to stop and release. You don't want to develop a habit of tension. Okay, one more chord. Let's do it, the A chord. It looks like the A7. Only, instead of the first and second finger using three fingers, move that second finger over to the third string and add the third finger on the second string. Now you're covering the second, third, and fourth strings, all in the second fret. That's A. There are many ways to make this A chord. Let's just stick for one with one for right now. Shake it out. <laughs> Play it again. Okay, that's E major we played, and A major. So that's it for this little mini guitar lesson. If you'd like some more lessons, you can find them at guitar, oh, where? At starlandguitar.com. Um, hope to see you over there. I keep adding things, so I'm hoping you're paying attention. Take care.